In a year, the Starship makes two trips. Many people thought this would never happen. But it did in 2023, and it caught the attention of the aerospace industry. At this point, though, it's just an appetizer in the bigger picture. SpaceX is speeding up its test launches to get ready for upcoming important projects, and the Starship plan promises more surprises. As the need for launches has grown, SpaceX has worked hard to improve its production facilities. Star Factory, the new way of making things, is slowly growing and almost done. It plays a key role in making sure that SpaceX is always ready for the next phase. What difference does Star Factory make to the Starship project? How far along is the building process right now? In today's episode of Great SpaceX, let's talk about these things. SpaceX always amazes us with what they can do, and the most recent flight of the Starship IFT-2 is a great example. After working hard for seven months, SpaceX should be proud of how well that flight went. In addition, this flight was a major turning point for the whole Starship project. This means that Starship is about to move on to a new stage that will give the production team a lot of work to do. But why is the next step for Starship so important for SpaceX? That's because this time they have to take part in a lot of important missions. The closest goal will be Artemis 3, the moon project which is set to start in late 2025 or early 2026. SpaceX will have to make sure that their vehicles are safe and reliable before they can officially join such an important mission. So how do you prove the things listed above? Well, they could only do one thing. They could do test flights the day after the last one. Takeoff must quickly share new information about Starship's third flight, or more specifically, its next flight. In three to four weeks, the hardware will be ready to fly. We know this is an early reveal, and it's not just for the third flight. It also means that a lot of other schedules are on the way. There will be no mistakes made by SpaceX during the Artemis mission, which is a very important mission. So, just one or two test flights of the Starship won't be enough to show what it can do and how reliable it is. Instead, there need to be a lot of flights. Compared to the last time, SpaceX will have an advantage. They will probably face fewer problems with government agencies. That's because the most recent flight had less of an effect on the environment and infrastructure around the launch system than the last flight. This means that the work of government agencies may be done and finished more quickly. Now that there are fewer outside obstacles, the launch schedule will depend mostly on how well SpaceX and Starship are prepared. SpaceX is having a hard time because there are so many people who want to do test launches. They do not have enough prototypes for those missions. SpaceX can only use a maximum of four pairs of Starship and Super Heavy rockets for the next launches right now. In the meantime, there may be four or five test flights next year. That means that those prototypes will be gone very quickly. After Elon Musk recently said something, those prototypes will even no longer be useful. He said that the prototypes that are already there will be the final prototypes of Starship version 1. SpaceX wants to make Starship version 2, which is a new version of Starship. Musk says that this new version will be more reliable, lighter, and able to hold more fuel. SpaceX needs to start making the Starship version 2 as soon as possible if they really want to use it. They will only have about 1.5 years to get everything ready. Because of time constraints, the earlier they start making the new Starship, the longer they'll have to test and make sure it works. Additionally, SpaceX will require a very big Starship in the future in order to take part in the mission to settle Mars. Musk said this again this year at the International Astronautical Congress. He said that SpaceX wants to launch thousands of Starships every year, which will help send about a million tons of cargo to Mars so that a self-sufficient city can be built and kept up there. Not matter what the reason is, they all need a very large number of Starships. SpaceX is changing its production line and adding the new Starship manufacturing system, called the Star Factory, to meet these needs. The new factory on Starship is based on Tesla's Gigafactory system for making cars. The Gigafactory at Tesla makes more than a million cars a year with the help of modern production lines. Because of this, SpaceX wants to use that model for making their biggest rocket, the Starship. Before, the production of Starship took place in a tent, and then the stacking stage was moved to individual bays. SpaceX's production is thought to be pretty fast compared to other companies. That production speed, on the other hand, won't work in the future when the schedule for Starship launches may get a lot busier. In reality, production lines that use tents for work have a lot of problems. To begin, the tents are made separately. Each tent will be in charge of making a different part of the Starship such as engines, rings, domes, nosecombs, or other parts. That means the process of making something can't go on all the time. 
Second, the old tens have an arch-shaped structure that makes it hard to fit bigger parts and SpaceX can't make the best use of the working space. These big pieces are often left outside the tent, where they can get damaged by the weather. Production technology will still be the most important thing, though. Many steps of the current process still have to be done by hand, like welding or bending, which slows it down a lot. On the other hand, the Star Factory will be better than old production structures in some ways. To begin, the factory will be in a block that is closed off and smooth. With this kind of structure, the production process can go on all the time without being affected by the weather. Besides that, the rectangular shape will make the best use of the production space so that a lot of Starship can fit in it. At the moment, Star Factory is still being built. SpaceX began building the first part of the Star Factory last year, right next to the third production tent. The next steps have also begun this year, one by one. Old buildings were torn down to make room for Star Factory. Next, the area was cleaned up, concrete was poured, the frame was built, and finally the walls and roof were put on. The building process isn't finished yet because the production tent is still there but it will soon be torn down so that the rest of the new factory can be built. Estimates say that Star Factory will cover up to 60,000 square meters of land, four to five times bigger than the total area of the 10 buildings that came before it. The most important thing that Star Factory still has going for it is its production technology. SpaceX will use Tesla's technology in the way they make rockets. Less work will be done by hand, and over time, all processes will be automated. The fact that Tesla makes more cars every year shows that they have that advantage. Production of rockets is much harder than production of cars, and Starship will not be able to make as many as a car, but new production technology will still need to be used. Because of the new line, SpaceX can make enough rockets to meet future launch needs. SpaceX wants to do more than just meet demand for quantity. Gwyn Shotwell talked about a bigger goal earlier this year, a Starship every day. The goal may seem impossible, but the current Star Factory is almost finished and more factories are planned for the future. The Star Factory might make it possible for SpaceX to build the world's biggest rocket fleet. I'm more excited than ever about the idea of working on the Starship project with Star Factory. With today's production methods, it wouldn't be strange to see hundreds or even thousands of Starships waiting at Starbase for their turn to take off and go to Mars in just one or two years. Many people didn't believe Musk when he said that Gigafactory could make a million cars a year, but Tesla's success put those doubters to rest. Now, SpaceX is getting ready to use Starship to reach similar goals. As always, there are people who don't believe in SpaceX's goals, but Musk and SpaceX will soon show that's not true. When Starship first came out, it changed the whole aerospace industry. And Star Factory will make the Starship fleets even stronger. It looks like Musk and SpaceX are about to change the way we explore space again, writing their own unique chapter in history. That's all for today's episode, folks. Thanks a lot for listening. This is Cosmic Era as usual. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel in order to see more videos similar to this one. Until the next time.